The War Clocker, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect locks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect, com collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Willow Tisha. Certain words jumped at him. He collected words he read. Emerald. Certain words pop off the page. Jordan sweet words. Bark boom. Drift dream. Two syllable treats. Treasure. Motive. Whisper. Glimmer, hover, candid. And multi syllable words that sounded like little songs. Guacamole, kaleidoscope, wonderful, geometry, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous today. Aromatic, but sapphires, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, torrential, smudge, bellow, tyrannosaurus rex. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome collections grew. He began organizing them. Dream, science, sad, action, quality. One day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his word went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collection had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jim eagerly collected more and more of his very words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon, packed with his work collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the van. He saw children in the valley below, screaming about, collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. 